reality can be whatever I want. Hey everyone, Thornton Smash here, and we are about two weeks away from the brand new Urban Assault Collection event. But with that coming, there's gonna be a brand new cup system coming into the game, and it's gonna bring three strikes back, which is fantastic. But it's gonna be a huge thing in season 21, as it does look like solos and quads will be coming with it, and a long rumored slash leaked mode that disappeared is finally gonna be returning, and it's kind of insane. We're gonna go over all that. We're also gonna give out the Cobalt Guitar Heirloom. All you guys gotta do is like, comment, subscribe, but you guys know the drill. But without further ado, let's jump into today's topic. So as most of us are aware, in about two weeks time, we are gonna be getting the Urban Assault Collection event. It comes with that Octane Prestige skin, whether you hate it or you love it, it is coming with a brand new dive trail. When are they gonna give the old ones dive trails? We have no idea. Along with that, there will be a bunch of new skins. There will be legendaries for Vantage, Wraith, Newcastle, Valkyrie, Rampart, Loba, and then a bunch of weaponry and epics as well. And overall, the event seems pretty good. The most exciting thing is, it looks like there will be a brand new Apex Cup coming to the game. This all features actually around Octane and Horizon, where it's a Team Octane versus Team Horizon. These legends are competing for a fantastic prize, and how the story unfolds depends on all of us, meaning that we will have some impact on what the outcome of this is and what it means for Season 21 going forward. We know that there is going to be teasers next week as well, or, well, actually, they start coming tomorrow, if you guys didn't know. Yeah, that is right. Broken Moon is getting an update for Season 21, and the teasers start launching this week. We are very close to the new season. Now, something very interesting about this is, well, Crowd Rindo gave us a ton of information. There will be actually different tiers for this. There's top 100, top 75, top 50, top 20, and top 100, making it even more coveted than Apex Predator. And it says battle through the Rumble to accumulate points in advance through various tiers. Check your loadout at the conclusion of the Rumble for rewards, including items from the current tier and all prior ones, meaning you'll be able to get a bunch of free stuff. There's stuff such as this Volt skin right here. There will also be a free Massive, and there will be badges as well. And this is going to be exclusively launching with three strikes mode. That is correct. There will be special badges for three strikes that are now permanently in the game that you'll be able to accumulate. And this is for the Urban Assault Collection event. Now there are a couple of rules with this. When you look at the rules, it says the mode is going to be three strikes, which means we will be getting future modes for this in the very near future. And I will go over that in a minute because it's very exciting. It does let us know you cannot join this with a pre-made squad. You will have to do this solo and your account level is 20 plus. Crossplay must also be enabled. So if you're on console, you will be in PC lobbies and vice versa. So get used to the aim assist. It's just gonna happen. There's even a little tier reward system right here with four, three, two, one, and top 100 that Crow showed us. And overall, it seems like a very interesting and cool thing they're adding into the game. You'll even have a little leaderboard right here that you can see Urban Assault Round 1 and it has placement, your points, and where you basically stack up in the Apex Legends community. But what's really interesting about this is, well, there is a screen right here that says Rumble has not started, letting us know that this thing is basically themed around a rumble between all the different players because, well, you're not in a squad. And the reason that is so interesting is, well, I actually leaked this just the other day, but I went ahead and reiterated it after Carl Rindo pointed out that Apex Legends will be bringing the cup system back for season 21, and it will highlight quads and solos mode, hence why they won't be LTMs. If you're wondering why they won't be LTMs and what that refers to, Oz also let us know Solos and Quads BR is coming in Season 21. They don't seem to be limited time modes. Crow Rindo actually leaked like a month and a half to two months ago that Solos and Quads are coming back. So this is pretty much a well-known thing at this point. But what's most interesting is the way that they actually call it Rumble. Because that makes me think of the Rumble mode that was leaked back in I think Season 16 or so. And it was right around the time of Ballista coming in because there was actually a Rumble Royale cover. And this was a solos mode where you're on your own. There are no squads, no teammates, no respawns and no mercies. You can only rely on yourself, your skills and your luck. There were no abilities. Instead, there were certain basic kits that you could have and there were no loadouts. Instead, you spawned with a random weapon and attachment and you can only swap weapons and attachments with the enemies you kills. And there were no rules. I do believe that Rumble got turned into this solos mode that we will be seeing in season 21 that comes along with quads as a form of the new cut mode, which is really, really fun. The only issue here is, well, will this game mode actually be successful? Will the top players actually be represented? Or are we gonna continue to have an issue with cheaters who basically ruin the entire thing? We've seen a huge issue with that in ranked this season. Obviously, Respawn maybe 
is kind of moving away from the traditional rank system to introduce this cup system and they're going to focus more of their anti-cheat on here it remains to be seen they've been doing a lot of layoffs so it's really hard to tell what respawn's future plans are for the game i will say this is a very interesting take and it seems like it's going to be a lot of fun and hey anytime they bring back three strikes mode i am all for it plus we have the new collection event with some free prize trackers that we'll be able to get overall it looks to be a very fun event and i'm excited to see how they implement it fully in season 21 with the community feedback from this basic player test let me know down below are you excited for the apex cup system do you think it'll be really good for the game or do you not really care and just want to play with your friends also don't forget to check out this channel right here by my editor novel who does amazing apex legends content and until next time everyone keep slaying in the outlands and i'll see you out there